Well, hello there. Well, hello there. All right, guys, so let's just jump right into it. Zwift has a competitor. Holy crap. And that's Grand Theft Auto. Holy Jesus. This is going to be quite interesting. So it took me a while to get this up and running. This is going to be the first of two videos. Uh, this first video, I'm going to show you how I got the GTA 5 bike mod to work on my PC, my setup. I did build my own PC. I do ride bikes and I do play video games. So I know kind of what to do, um, but I'm in no means an expert. So I'm gonna go step by step exactly how I got it to work with my setup. Um, enough blathering incoherently. Let's just skip along to exactly how I did this. Uh, stick around because video number two, I will just be playing the game, giving my thoughts on it. So the list of things that you will need is a smart trainer, a PC capable of playing Grand Theft Auto 5, and an Ant Plus dongle, and I procured mine through Amazon, and then you will need the mod. These steps in question, before you even start downloading the scripts, just make sure GTA 5 works for you and you get it through the Steam store. I really could not get the Epic Games version to run yet, so just make sure the game boots up and everything works fine. Like I said before, Rockstar Games can be a little wonky on the PC sometimes. So first and foremost, make sure your game actually runs. So once you have Grand Theft Auto V downloaded, you need to at least progress past the prologue and you need to get to where you can free roam. That's like the third mission in the game. So basically what was happening when I would try to run Script Hook uh, and I would try to teleport somewhere, with the mod, it would just fail the mission and make me restart again. So you have to actually get to where you can free roam in the game before you can use the mod, or at least that's how it worked for me. So I will leave links to everything down in the description. So first you need to stroll over to GT Bike version 0.2.2. Um, you're going to download a few things, and I do recommend downloading everything first. Then I'll show you what exactly I put where. So the first thing you need to do is actually get script hook up and running. What will make this a little bit easier is if you download the script hook first, then you download the bike mod. So you need to get the github scripthook.net version 3, uh, download that guy, and then download Alexander Blade's script hook. Uh, you can just copy and paste this and you can take out the ES if you want to. It's for the Spanish version. I wanted to make sure I could read everything that I was downloading, so I just took out the ES, uh, turns it to English when you, when you put that in there. Download these two guys. Once you have those two downloaded, I would scroll back up to the top, go ahead and download the actual mod. Now you're going to need to unzip all these files. Once I unzipped them, I renamed them something, each one, so it's easy to find. I just did like GT5 bike mod one, two, and three, Anything like that to make it easier because the first time I did this I was excited and I really wanted to play it and I didn't label anything and it was annoying trying to find it. Once you have everything downloaded, go back to Steam. Uh, go to your library. You're going to find Grand Theft Auto 5. Right click it. Manage. Browse local files. Now when you hit browse local files it is going to bring up uh, everything to do with Grand Theft Auto under Steam. Uh, this is where you're gonna start putting your mods in. So you're gonna take everything that you unpacked from Script Hook. You're going to drag and drop it um, into just the standard local save files. Drag and drop it here. Next, you're going to take everything you got from the GitHub Script Hook. And all you actually need is what is in the bin folder, nothing else. Drag and drop it, place it into the local files. Everything can just go straight into here. So once that is downloaded into here, you can test it out. All you need to do is boot up Grand Theft Auto. I, I did this uh, just to make sure that the script hook was working. So this is what you can use when you're playing Grand Theft Auto to give you invincibility or you can jump really high. It is, it is essentially the modding tool to play all of the different mods and it comes with a few base mods if any of that is making sense. And then what we need to do is we need to get the actual bike modification. So when you download the bike, GTA 5 bike, you're going to drag and drop just the scripts and the mod settings in their folders. Keep them in their folders. Uh, I first dumped them in here just like I did the script hook and it did not want to work right. Drag and drop them both into here and you should be good to go. 
The only other thing I did, I was having a lot of trouble getting this run, so I was re-downloading it, re-downloading it, trying to do everything step by step. Once I got the mod settings and the scripts in, I went back to my OneDrive because I read somewhere, I don't even remember where, that this worked for somebody. All I know is once I did this, it booted up fine for me. So copy your mod settings and your scripts. So you can actually do save files on your OneDrive if you have that enabled. Basically, that makes it to where if you have GTA 5 on this computer and you have it on another computer five hours away, you can have the same save files. So go to your OneDrive. That should be under, let's see, how to get to the OneDrive, how to get to the OneDrive. Go to this PC, local drive, program files, no wait, users, Go down to OneDrive, uh, Documents, and then you should see Rockstar Games, GTA 5. In here, dump your mod settings and your scripts. Once I did that, boot the game up, and you should be good to go. One thing that I did have to do is use, I, I borrowed a keyboard that actually had a number pad. My gaming keyboard does not have a number pad. This script hook uses the number pad to actually control it. You can use hotkeys and convert all that to where you can run it with a, a keyboard that does not have a number pad, but I finally got this thing to where it would somewhat work when I pressed F4. And I didn't want to screw anything up any further, so I just got a keyboard with a number pad. Number pad's how you move around. Now what you want to do to actually use the mod, only use the mods in the offline single player campaign. So once you boot the game up, you press F4. It's gonna bring up all of the mods. You're gonna use the number pad to scroll through everything. Uh, but you don't need to use the native trainer if you don't want to. Before I use the actual mod, make sure there's one of the base three characters and they are on their standard skin. Then all you gotta do is press F5. Jesus, would you stop calling me? Bring it up, activate mod. To drive. And you can select a course and it should teleport you. Alright guys, so I know a lot of people have had trouble getting this to run. That's essentially why I just wanted to point out how I got mine to run with my setup. Hopefully it helps somebody. I know I had to do a couple different steps than what like uh, Chris Pritchard, I think his name was, put out. Um, but hopefully this helps somebody. Let's take a look, see how well this thing actually runs. Let's do it. The living world of Grand Theft Auto is so much better than Zwift, I do have to say. I mean, this is a, a very pretty game. Whoa, hey now. Oh, okay. Everyone stops for the cyclist. Eight and a half percent feels like it. That's right, you better stop for me. You can also change the view to first person. See how much I'm suffering. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is this? feels like 9% for sure. What are you doing? Hey, so anywhere you see, anywhere you see, I can ride my bike to right now. That's cool. Oh boy. This is gonna be a fun intersection. Oh, hit it, Franklin! Oh, holy crap. What? Passing cars. That's right. Get it. Hey, bro. You want to race? <laughs> 